it's Liz and it's Friday and I have been sick and I was almost not going to record because technically my five promises for this year were like, you know, if I'm dying, I can skip an upload day. But you know what? I woke up this morning at like 1030 and I felt pretty good. So I'm going to make this video and you know, my voice might sound weird. I, I can't tell because I'm still kind of congested, so let's see how this goes. For all of you who are sophomores or younger who subscribe to me and haven't yet been to prom, you know, let's just, let's, this is basically how to survive. I'm obviously an expert. First, decide if you want to go with a date or a pal, and then make the appropriate promposal to suit whatever choice that was. Yes, even make a promposal if you're going with a pal because it's a, just a cute way to show that you care. Next, decide what you're going to wear, and while most people usually buy something new, I just went with my homecoming dress, which also happened to be a hand-me-down, and that worked out just fine. <laughs> Next, decide on accessories, because you don't want anything to be too obnoxious to be dancing in, but you still want to wear something, as it is a generally formal event, and, you know, you want to look nice. Now, pick the shoes you want to wear, and if you choose something uncomfortable, make sure it's at least really cute, and then you can beg for compliments to validate the fact that they are in fact cute, and it will make up for how much pain you're in. Now it's the day of, so you have to decide what you want to do for hair and makeup, and this can be basically as fancy or casual as you want. Get on whatever you plan on wearing, and as long as you feel confident in it, you're ready to go. Take pictures. Take them before, take them during, and hey, even take them after if you want to. Pictures will help the memories last, and... Also, you know, you want to have something to show for it when you come back home and your mom asks to see what went on, and yeah, take pictures. Dance. It's a dance, so dance. Even if you look completely stupid, just go for it. If someone looks good, tell them in a, you know, not creepy way, and have fun. Like, seriously, even if you have to ditch your original group to go find people who you know you'll have fun with, have fun. Find a way to have fun. Oh man, and at the end of the night, remember the parts that were fun, because there are going to be parts that suck, especially if you're an introvert or someone who doesn't really like these kinds of things, and since you're on the internet watching a YouTube video, I'm assuming it's probably you. There will be parts that will suck, and there will be parts that are fun, and at the end of the night, remember the parts that were fun, because those are the parts that matter. Those are the memories that you want to last, not the part where you were sitting uncomfortably at a table full of a bunch of people you didn't know. Remember, take pictures. Seriously. Take pictures. Mom will be so mad if you don't take pictures.